Hi, my name is Rebecca Bonebrick, and I am the lighting designer for Hannah and the Dread Gazebo. Um, in a story like Hannah and the Dread Gazebo, I feel like it's very important. There's so many locations, and we move back and forth through time and location that it's really the, the lighting um, is one of the strongest elements to help tell the audience where we are and what's what the through line is in the story it you know I think it, it has lighting has the the power to transform a space one of my favorite moments is seeing the set under work lights and then and then turning on the theatrical lights okay. every um, space it, can be transformed by just changing the quality of light the quality of light the color of light um, the direction of light um, can all uh, can all have a very emotional response. You can change a space um, and the the effect it has on people um, with just a few different things. Yes, Most so of lighting design is done in tech in the space. Um, and so the relationships with um, stage management who is in charge of, of, of calling the lighting um, and working with the director and seeing what their vision is and trying to help shape that um, and working with sound. A lot, of, a lot of times the lighting and sound are cues that go together so you want to make sure that timing is correct um, and that it all works well together. Um, and then it shows like Hannah where we also have video. Um, I have to work very closely with the video uh, designer uh, because video is essentially just one large lighting instrument so we work together and look, work on color and coordinating those cues as well so it's um, it's very collaboration is very important um, and I always I always like the puzzle of I have only so this is what I have and these are the different locations I need to create and like how do I make all that work and how can I uh, how can I make that puzzle uh, work logistically and for telling the story so.